the prep zone. Oh my goodness! Price splash down. You have entered the prep zone. No, don't change the channel. It's me. I'm back. Yes, at least for one night. Alongside me, Coach Jimmy Enman. Big game. The Battle of Gauze. Slide out at home, taking on North Shore. Listen to this. Slide out, eight and one. North Shore, six and three. Both going to make the playoffs, but it's a crosstown rivalry. Tell us about these teams. Well, first of all, Coach. Welcome back. And let me tell you about North Shore. Salty defense early on. Pitched a shutout against Dutchtown. That's no easy feat. And as of late, man, their offense is hitting stride. Slide L, on the other hand, just steady as it goes. Excellence all the way around. There's a reason that the Tigers are 8 and 1. There's an east wind blowing in my hair. I mean, hold on a second. Never mind. East wind. May affect the game. We'll talk to the coaches. It's the Battle of Gauze on Channel 13. Coach Scoble, 8 and 1, 6 and 0, oh, and he got the district wrapped up. Um, but crosstown rivals, you still want to be undefeated in the district. What have you seen out of them? They're explosive on offense. They've gotten better every week, and uh, they're on a winning streak as well. Maybe not as big as ours, but they are on a winning streak, and it's going to be a war. Having seen you coach before, I, I was going to try to set the over-under on blitzes. Is it 50% or more? <laughs> it depends on the formation. <laughs> well, Coach, great year. Uh, offensively, uh, wind's blowing. You think that's going to affect the passing game? Oh, it will, and then special teams as well. So it's I, we didn't even know it was going to be like this. I knew they had something coming through, but, um, you know, both teams got to adapt, and that's just the way it's going to be. Coach Sanders, real good year so far. So far, yeah. We we'll see if we can keep it going. So, big crosstown rivalry. I call it the Battle of Gauze because y'all are both close to Gauze, just a few miles away or a mile or two. Um, what are you going to tell your team this evening about about tonight's game? Well, I told them. I mean, if there's anything else, I mean, I need to tell you at this point in time, I'm not doing my job. You know, there's nothing new to say. You know, it's about how we play the game, and, and nothing changes tonight. So. Uh, so the over and under, having uh, coached against Coach Scoble and known him for a lot of years, the over and under is 50% on blitzes out of their defense. What do you think? Well, they're very good. I don't know what they need to blitz. So, I mean, they, they've been solid all year, and uh, they're, they're really good this year. So they, they don't blitz as much as uh, he typically does because I think they're, they're really good and solid all around. So, Tell me about that offense of yours. Really uh, it seems to be coming on a, as the – as the year progresses. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're trying to be more consistent, you know, because we've kind of been up and down throughout the year. And uh, they've been doing that the past three weeks or so after the St. Paul's fiasco. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're peaking at the right time. I mean, that's what you want to be doing right now, you know, going into week 10 and into the playoffs. So, you know, hopefully it's, uh, it's working out and they're starting to understand things. Yeah, Robob set to kick us off in this big rivalry. Row bottom back, Bridges back. That one goes right there. That'd be number three, Bryce Cherry for North Shore, able to bring the ball in. And first coach, first time, down. Time, time to see North Shore's offense on the field. They had a good Friday last night. Put up 45 on a really good defense from the Lions over in Covington. So, Road Warriors, this is back to back road games for North Shore. All right. Battle of Gauze right here. Two excellent years for both of these squads. Coach coming in, North Shore at six and three, slot L at eight and one. Donovan Wildbacker under center. Fakes the handoff, drops back, looks. He's going deep right out of the gate, Coach. Nothing doing right Play there. Play action pass right there on first down. Tried to find Bridges down the sideline. 
but the Slidell defense was not going to have that. That was Dwayne Mills on the coverage. A 5'10", 145 pound junior was, um, he was stuck to him on that play. And Coach, sure. San Coach Sanders opening up the playbook and looking long right out of the gate. So, handoff up the middle, nice hole. Good carry for number three right there. That's Bryce Cherry for North Shore. Uh, Coach. Good push right there off a right tackle. Uh, got a hole, got five yards, gonna bring up a third and five. It's big third down right on the first series. Ball backer looks to the sideline, checks. Maybe looking for a free five right there with a hard count. Was not happening, good discipline by the Tigers defensive line. Snap is back, ball backer takes it himself. He's looking, looking. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it, Coach. No, it's gonna be short. Not close. And right there, uh, he tried to, that was the, uh, the old quarterback power. Um, if you watch college football, you'll see t uh, Kansas State runs that a lot. Um, and the same play the Saints run with Taysom, Taysom Hill. Taysom. Yes, brings up fourth down, punting down. So good stand right there by the Slidell Tigers defense. We have a, a potential fake here, Coach. Hard count not there. Slidell once again holds discipline on their defensive front seven. Snap is back. And the punt's away. Good punt right here. It's got a charge. It's got a roll. And it's going to check up about the nine-yard line. Great punt right there. A uh, little, they, they were feigning a little trickeration as they came up, but uh, Slidell was in uh, prevent, you know, the punt, safe punt. Punt safe. Punt safe, safe punt, whatever you want to call it. They were going to make sure that they punted the ball, which, which they ended up doing after all that. And in the meantime, time ran off the clock. <laughs> and it's the first time for slide out. First time we're going to see him tonight. Luke Gidry, senior signal caller for the Tigers, sets up shop. And he's got a wealth of talent to work with. Travell Watts, number eight, who's going to be set beside him to his left. The dynamic back in his own right. Hand off to Watts. He looks good, patient running, but that. North Shore defensive line. They were there and up for the they, task. They gobbled him up there. Not much of a gain, I don't think. Uh, no gain, as a matter of fact. But he was, it was, he was so difficult. He was trying to dance through there and had no. There was no people on his dance dance card. He was patiently looking for a hole, but nothing was doing. Nothing developed. Gidry, once again back. Watch to his left. Second down, ten. Watts switches over to his right side. Watts goes out into the flat. Gidry looks, drops back. He's got a man, 13 with the catch, Coach Jihad A. Williams. Jihad Williams with a nice jump. I mean, he was blanketed. Yes. But Williams it, got up in the air. Perfect throw for Gidry. And, and it's kind of surprising. The wind is, uh, we talked about it in the pregame with the coaches. The wind is, is, is pretty brisk here. It was definitely, uh, how can I say this, and he put in the only spot where Jihadi Weave to go get it, and Coach, he went and got it. So here we are, Gidry, Watts set to his left. Snap is back, hand off to Watts, in the backfield immediately is North Shore. Excellent job right there by the Panthers. It looked like big number 40, Sam Yuseda, was in the backfield with some quickness. He caught, that was a ta TFL, tackle for a loss, uh, loss of one on that. Going to bring up second down and 11. Seems like the uh, North Shore defensive front, the front six are ready for some front six or seven are ready for some runs. Gidry back, drops, looks, surveys, nothing doing right there. He goes out to his right. He's looking, looking, and uh, up number uh, number eight, Jordan Fug Fugade. Fugate. 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 Yeah. Coach, how come I have trouble with that name? I had trouble with the name, and they got two Fugates, Fugates on, yes. the, on the team. Yes, they do. Nonetheless, they, Jordan they, comes up with a nice tackle right there. 
is not a few gates. Uh, There's two you know, gates. You know, you explained few, this few to gates. me the first time. Okay. All right. You know, unfortunately, that was eight weeks ago. <laughs> pick, up a, uh, pick up a five on that uh, play, third down six. Gidry with Watts to his left, takes a snap, hand, no, fakes the handoff, heads out wide, and it's going to be incomplete. Well, yeah, going out to the wide receiver screen, and I think it was Cameron that, Ducree, coach, out there. Out there, I think Cameron was trying to take it to the house Mate. before he had put the ball away. And I tell you what, he's a dynamic receiver, so I understand uh, him looking to get to the house. Got to catch it first, though. Bridges with the fair catch at the 36-yard line, and North Shore will set up shop right there for their second uh, possession of the game. Coach, two possessions, two punts. Both defenses have come to play. My prediction of the over-under being right around 45 is out the window uh, well, right now. Uh, you, but you, you never know. Hey, you, you, you never know. You're, the under is in play for sure. <laughs> <laughs> We got a new QB back here, Coach. Is that Kyle Williams? <clears throat> and uh, it looks like, yes, that is Kyle Williams. And it's a, a he run. But he somehow got out of that, Coach. I don't know how. Look at him go, Coach. Wow. He's making oh. another move, a stiff arm, still on his feet, still on his feet before he's cleaned up. Cleaned out of bounds at the 40-yard line after a big. I thought he was down. I think he got his hand down to keep him from being sacked. Um, I'm thinking Williams lost his helmet. He's got to go out. But uh, I what guess balance, coach? What balance to stay up? A little wildcat action, I think. But he was trying to throw it. He just scrambled real well. With an emphasis on the wild. And here we go with another run right up the middle. That looks like uh, is that row bottom? That is, that would be uh, number 20, Cohen Robotham on the carry. So back-to-back -back Wildcat plays there, Coach. They, 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 they must have some specific plays for each one of these guys. And now Wildbacker is in, and he's going to set up shop. Good field position for North Shore as they look to keep this drive alive. Second down, five. A late arrival to the party. Wabucker drops back, surveys, puts the ball in the air, and it's caught. Number one right there, T.J. Coleman. Coach, T.J. Coleman, he is electric. He, he got him right up on the sideline and put the ball on the numbers, and then uh, Wildbacker and Coleman have a first down at the 21-yard line with the Panthers driving in their second possession. 6.24 to wild, go. Back in the Wildcat. Cohen Robotham. It's a reverse. And it's going to TJ Coleman. He's got some space. Good job by Slidell. Number seven in on the tackle. That's Cameron Ducre. He's one of your iron. Uh, iron men. Iron men. Plays both sides of the ball. And on that play, it looked like they had two blockers out there were going to make the thing. But Ducre shedded his blocker. Made a good tackle, a pickup of three, second down, seven. So we're looking. We've got uh, Bryce Cherry to Wabacker's left. Wabacker hands off to Cherry. He makes a nice little jump cut, is able to pick up two, maybe three, where there really wasn't anything there. I think he did get two. It's going to be third and five is my guess by the down marker. Jordan Jacobs in on that tackle for the Tigers, able to wrap up. Cherry. Big play right here to keep this drive alive, or will Slidell's defense bend but not break? Wildbacker on the snap, calls for it, drops back, pressure, stops, looks, incomplete. That time a lot of pressure from Slidell from the defensive front. He had to step up in the pocket. It looked like he was going to run for a minute, then saw his man open or thought he was open but did not deliver on the pass incomplete gonna bring up fourth and five and there's gonna be a play with um, Cohen Robotham, Robotham at and Cherry number 
30, Jordan Jacobs was in on that uh, pass defense, which sets up this big fourth down. High snap. And it looks like he may have gotten it's the be first. Close. Be close, Coach. Depending Cohen, on the Cohen spot. Cohen Robotham. Ooh, it's going to be close. Close, close, close. It's hard to tell at this angle across the field where where the guy's marking it, but I think he's they're got gonna, his foot down. They're going to bring in the chains. Oh, yeah. So they have one official on the other side, and uh, he put his foot down as to where he it was, and they mark it over here. Now they're going to go get the they're going to get the change. So, coach, who, who, who's got this first down? Uh, is it no short sure first down, or is it going to be slot uh, L with the first down? Give me a second. To think this. <laughs> It's going to be close. It's going to be real close. We're talking chain first links down, here. First down. I'm going to say first down. And it's close. No! Slidell's ball. Slidell's ball. Whoa! Chain, That's chain how links. close was that? It, it, it might have been not links. Link. <laughs> it may have been singular. Link. You're right. Link. Wow. May have been singular. Big stop right there by the Slidell defense. Big drive by North Shore, and they come out of it with nothing. That's you got to be thinking right now. Uh, Slidell is going, hey, we know we can hold them. Over on the other side, North Shore is going, ah, man, we, we squandered an opportunity there. Yeah, coach, that was Slidell's defense. When I said bend but not break, that was matrix style. That was a <laughs> that was a, a whole lot of bending right there, but not breaking. But at the end of the day. Slidell's offense is on the field, and Guidry is back. He's got Watts to his left. Snap is back. Hand off to Watts. Watts looks, and nothing doing. Nothing doing. Coach, that would be uh, number 56, Sean Collins, and number 40, Sam Uceda. We've been saying Uceda's name a couple of times already early in this. Great job of teaming up there, getting to the ball carrier. Drop him. I'm impressed with North Shore's D-line at this point. It makes sense how they were able to shut out Dutchtown. Yes. yes. We're, in, we're in for a defensive battle. Guidry. Uh, uh, Watch says left, uh, but it looks like there was movement on the Slidell offensive line. North Shore. Uh, North Shore's players are clapping, and the officials say, yep, you got reason to do so. Going to bring up second down of 15. So in the shadow of their own goalpost, the Tigers will set up shop. Snap is back, handoff to Watts. And again, coach, nothing doing. 32 for the Panthers. Uh, Hannah McCant in on the tackle. They got a few yards on that play, Coach. Actually, got 10 on that play. No, no, they got about eight on that play. So third down, seven. Nice pickup on a little toss play right there. Uh, trying to get outside because it, it's no going up the middle. So they're going to try to find the edge. speed and get to the edge, yes. So once again, we have uh, Luke Guidry with Watts to his left. Snap is back, Gidry looks. It looked like a little miscommunication and it's gonna set up a fourth down for the Tigers. And uh, barring something unforeseen, a nice defensive stand for the Panthers. Yeah, and, and uh, they still have good field position. Well, they should come out of it. Snap is back, punt is off. Good punt, it's hung up and Bridges. Big number 88, Bridges hauls it in, but excellent coverage by the Tigers. And great field position as they're on Slidell's side of the field here at the 46-yard line. Well, if you're Coach Sanders, you got to like that because he's shown a penchant for, uh, how can I say, uh, being willing to go for it. Fourth down, or, you know, some trickeration here or there. So you couple that with good field position, he has to be happy. I think he's happy, but at the same time, a little disappointed they didn't get something out of that last. Uh, 
that last four, drive. Four eight down into the red zone. <laughs> that it was. Wildbacker under center. Looks like Bryce Cherry really deep here. And he gets up ahead of steam before he gets the ball. A nice little pickup. They went Cherry. left side this time and um, had a pulling guard block out. And uh, Cherry found the seam and he gets, uh, he gets five, second and five. And setting up that deep that allows those guards to pull, create the hole. Meanwhile, Cherry still has a head of steam to hit the hole with. So once again, we have Donovan Wabacker, Cherry offset to his left. Wabacker drops back, looks, surveys, not there. Incomplete. Good coverage right there by the Tigers. That would be number five. Uh, Elijah Harrison. Elijah Harrison on the coverage. Yes, good job there. But I, here's where I think North Shore, they, they got it in the throwing the ball right there. They've just run the ball for five yards. I would have gone with another run before I'm, you know what I'm thinking? You hear what I'm coming from? I, I, run I, the football I definitely hear you. I hear you. So, sets up a third and long five. We'll call it a short six. Wildbacker under center. Cherry very deep. Instead, will hand off inside. And nothing doing at all. Number nine, Kendall, Kendall Carter. Carter. Carter, Th that time they faked a toss and ran a little counter back inside. And that went nowhere as Carter was going, not on my watch. And this is decision time here, Coach, just simply because of the field position at play. Uh, you definitely will have to keep an eye out for a fake. And that's why point. Slidell is staying in safe punt right now. Snap is back. Punt is away. And this is a good punt as well. It's going to check up. It's going to make its okay. way into the end zone. That one, uh, because of the ball's shape, <laughs> took a little... A little. Would you, are you, are you, turn are you to, trying to say it's not a soccer ball, coach? Is that no, what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, well, I thought you already knew that. <laughs> it took a little bit of a different bounce than you would have expected. Um, I thought they were headed for a coffin corner, but it ended up in the end zone. First down, 10, slide L on their third possession. We have no score, and there's 2.23 to go in the first quarter. Shorts defense lines up. Gidry drops back. Excuse me. Hands off to what? And man, oh man, big 52 for uh, North Shore coach. That would be uh, J Jameer um, Bolden. <laughs> Jameer Bolden. Oh wow! I tell you, he gave a free massage there. Yeah, right? he he stood him up right there, and that was a uh, that was the first really big hit of the night. Second down and 11 for the Tigers who have not been able to get anything together here yet it. in this game. Gidry and Watts again. Gidry fakes, looks, and almost hauled in, uh, looking for uh, Jihadi Williams. A little, little bit of a play action pass there where they, they sent out three receivers on one side, run a guy out uh, in, uh, into the flat look at him but then come back inside on a quick post uh gidry was not on the mark and therefore we have an incompletion an eligible man downfield as well here Ooh. coach declined incomplete gonna bring up third and 11. it's a it's a very um that's a very uh, rpo centric <laughs> play right there you fake to the you, know, you fake or give to the back he's thought let's Go to throw the ball. Looks out in the flat for the back. No, come back underneath for the the, the quick slant. Tell you what, Coach. All that and it was incomplete. Well, and what I was about to say is Jahadi Williams almost hauled that in somehow. Third and 11. So we got Gidry. He sends Watts out. He's got some pressure on him, and he's going to go down. He's going to be sacked, Coach. Big number 56. As Sean Collins on the sack. Wow. So we said early 
like you did. Um, North Shore's defense early in the year, they kind of rested on them. And then the uh, offense has come on, and same thing with Coach Goble said his defense has been really good. And now the punt, ooh, got it away. Bridges, fair catch. They are going, they are now at the 40, and the, you see the uh, field Flip, position. Flipping the field. They've already flipped the field because it was way back here in 35, 36, then it's moved forward, and it crossed midfield. Now it's even closer. It was at the 46 the last time. Now it's a 40, 40 yards to get to get to pay dirt. And I tell you what, I keep waiting for T.J. Coleman from North Shore to, to get the ball in space. And let me tell you, Coach, it's going to take three guys to tackle him in a phone booth. He's got some move. He's an electric ball player. Let's see. Looks if, like Roe uh, them, Coach. Yeah. Wildcat again. Yeah, he's keeping it right side. Saw a little bit of an opening and then got dumped. So he had an opening for a yeah. short second. It, it was one of those situations where he might have taken it outside and done okay and or cut it up. A little discussion here with the referee and Robotham. All right, let's take it easy. Let's make sure. And I, th I think that uh, there may have been some exchanges for uh, Thanksgiving dinner there, some invitations maybe, but more likely than not, there was just a little extra jawing. And I don't mean at the table. And the, the ref table. is not going to have it. This is, Ch this is Williams, coach. Looks to drop back and almost. That was James Bridges, the intended receiver right there. As you mentioned beforehand, uh, these two schools, they're not too far apart. So these these guys, uh, you know, you got neighborhoods that back up to one another. So there, there's, uh, there's going to be a lot of familiarity. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, you know, a year of being able to uh, take the bragging rights. You know, Williams hands off, nothing Ooh, doing. Gobbled up. That would be uh, Mr. Kendall Carter, the Iron Man coach. We saw him in the backfield toting the rock as well. He can play on both sides of the ball, and when he runs, you know, at the running back position, he runs hard. Fourth down now, and three. We're gonna have a little timeout on the field. Uh, uh, that, no, that timeout. Quarter. It's the end of the first quarter. There's no scores. Slidell at home versus North Shore. All right, we're back with the punt. North Shore puts a little charge into it. And this one's going to roll, and this one might be coffin corner here, Coach. Close to it. That's it. Six-yard line on that punt. And speaking of flipping the field, that's just – no, that's not what's happened. I'm sorry, because they, they turned around here. I, I confused myself. <laughs> All right, well, don't that, do that. You know, don't do hard. that because you know you, you're not. the one that's guiding me, so no. this could be a problem. No, no, that could be a problem. <laughs> um, let's just say first down, slide out. And, and Coach, I, I, I'll tell you what, the special teams for North Shore has been on point up to this. So far, so Indeed. good. Indeed. Hand off to Watts, looks up the middle, and nothing doing. There's a whole Once again, den of Panthers. big number 56, Sean Collins, and Jackson Fugate. Did I say it right that yes, time, you Coach? Did. Hey. Yes, yes, you did. All right. Very well done. Number seven, Jackson Fugate in on that tackle. See me after, and I will give you a sticker. Hey, that's right. Gold star, gold star. Helmet sticker. <laughs> So at this point, we're looking, uh, Luke Gidry setting up shop. This time, Carter is to his right. Handoff, keeps it himself. And again, Coach, nothing doing. That would be number 34 for North Shore. That would be uh, Jawan Jacques in the backfield. I've been impressed with that their right front there, seven. That right there, a little... Uh, a little kind of fake by the quarterback and he kept it um, was the they had that jet sweep going fakes that and uh, keeps it and he's not going anywhere it's third and nine now 
for the Tigers. Luke Guidry, once again, coach in the shadow of his own goalpost if the sun were out, of course. Nonetheless, we've got some lights on the field, and he's right there on his goal line. When I say on his goal line, he's about a yard away from having his heels there. Snap is back, surveys, looks, and he's oh, hit in the end zone. Safety. Oh, safety Balls time. Out of the back. Doesn't matter. Yep. Safety, safety, safety right there. And we have our first score, and it's surprisingly uh, going in, but not shocking after watching the first quarter, the defense that puts the points on the board. All right, and after a huge play by the uh, North Shore defense getting a safety, Elijah Harrison puts it in play with a punt. North Shore was going to have even better field position with a hole, Coach. Space Bridges. to run. And Bridges. Well. Able to eat up some space, but there's some hanky on the field. Oh, some yellow. Laundry dreaded, on the field. Dreaded yellow hanky. Let's talk a little bit about what just happened, all right? We had a, we had a safety. Slidell had the kick from their 20-yard line. They can punt or kick off. They chose to punt it. Bridges got a good run back, but that was aided by um, well, let's a, just say a, a, a block in the back. A block in the back that is going to bring it back. And that, that excellent field position for North Shore, uh, let's, let's just say it disappeared in tonight's breeze. It's gone. And North Shore in this defensive struggle so far will get the football, play a first and 10. At their own 43. Ball back under center. Turns, hands off, and it looks like Cherry, and he's going to pick up about five. A long four, short five. North Shore quick to the line. Going a little hurry up here. Wallbacker turns, hands off again, and he somehow squirts through right there, Coach. Uh, slot L with good penetration, but Cherry looks like he's able to pick up the first. He, he made a move right there on the left side and said, oh, this, this looks like I'm going to have a dance partner, and he done, danced back to his <laughs> right and, and picked up some more yards. Third and one, which is what I said before, run the ball, run the ball. Indeed. All right, third and one. So he did not pick up the first. It does set up a third and one. Cherry's deep again. Wildbacker turns, hands off, and he's not going to make it, Coach. He did not make it. Excellent Great penetration defense. by Slidell. Right. Yeah. We'd, we'd call the young man's name, but he's folded up his jersey <laughs> underneath number 43. So big number 43, uh, that would be Cole Koretsky. Koretsky with a nice stop, fourth down and one. Koretsky, he sounds like he could be playing linebacker for Penn State, Coach. He sure does. 5'10", 215 defensive lineman on fourth down. And punt, punt safe again. <laughs> North Shore up with the fake. And did someone move? No. Somebody called timeout. North Shore. And it is Coach Sanders said, Maybe not. So with 8.24 to go in the second quarter, it is North Shore 2, slot L0. Coming out of the timeout, it's fourth and one, Coach. When your defense is playing as well as North Shore, you can uh, make a gutsy call like this. Rub Adams under center. Oh, it is a fake. Uh -oh. And it looks like There's you got it. It's going to be close. Wow, that I is bet, some trickeration. That is. Uh, <laughs> it, it was, I, I thought that might happen because the three backs were still there. He backs up. They snap, direct snap it to one of them. He goes straight ahead. He's got two blockers in front of him. The play, the play that was going to take place before that was the quarterback sneak and three guys were going to. Right, push, and it, him, and, push him across. And, and Robotham was there, and then Robotham breaks out, goes back into the punt formation, and then the snaps go, uh, goes to uh, 
the three guys that were set up, as you mentioned. And now, hey, a little razzle-dazzle, and North Shore has a first down. And another timeout. Another out. timeout. This uh, is by North Shore. Cool. So it's 7.39 to go in the second quarter. Once again, still got that shutout. Two to nothing. Baseball score. All right, Coach, coming out of the timeout. North Shore setting up shot. And it looks like Roe Bottom, he's following his blocks. And he's going to have a nice gain here, Coach. Good run, straight ahead, looked like about eight yards or seven or eight yards on that carry. Pretty much the um, uh, quarterback power, in, in this case, he's the wildcat guy, so he kept it. Um, it will set up uh, second and a long two, we'll say a short three, and they're going to keep this formation. Taysom Hill. Robotham has it, looks, cuts inside. Slido does a good job, and if the ball comes out, they say they say that uh, forward progress evidently had been stopped, and the whistle had been had been blown at that point. So the play was dead. Wow. But a big play defensively. Uh, again, that Taysom Hill look where uh, I think if he would trust himself, he tries to cut it back up there in that situation. Maybe if he strung it out wide he had some blockers there and he had cherry on the pitch to his left as well once again they go right back to it and number nine kendall carter in on that tackle and this is back-to-back -back plays where north shore has either had no gain or loss on the play so it's going to set up a fourth and long three short four North Shore up to the line. They're going with the exact same personnel grouping. Row by them. You want to see the, you, when you see him stand up and look to the sideline, they're checking for a play call. He'll check with me. we we'll see where they are. Fourth and five. Hand off. Slidell looks like they fumble. stopped it, and there's a fumble on the play. Yeah, I think he was down. Either which way, either which way, it's going to be Slidell's ball. Turnover on downs. Slidell's defense stiffens. And I tell you what, three straight plays with either no gain or loss on the play. I think they were, after that first play, running similar plays like that, like banging your head against the wall. Don't do it. Not only that, here's... Here's a key. Slidell has the ball at their own 40-yard line. That was a kind of change of possession and better they field flipped. position with for the Tigers Slidell. Did. Tigers flipped the field right there with their defense. Stout defensive play by the Tigers. I'm expecting some passing coming up here now. Now that they're out of the shadow of their own goal. <laughs> no doubt. Luke Gidry in the backfield. Watch to his left. Jahadi Williams, coach, I'm telling you. He can get up there and he can go get it. He can grab it at the high point. He, he's a talent. Got a little slight hold up here. All right, well, whenever the hold up was, it seems to have been resolved. Gidry, watch to his left. Gidry takes off up the middle, and he is tackled right there by big number 52. Coach, we, we may have called big number 52 Jamire Bolden's name more than one time tonight. Sure. He's been a busy guy in that D-line. Pick up of one for Gidry on that play. I thought he got more. He got one, second down nine. Gidry Watts in the backfield. Watts goes out to his left into the flat. Gidry looks, ball's in the air, and it falls harmlessly to the turf. But it will set up a third and nine. So big play here for the Tigers uh, offense. Coach, they want to stay on the field right here. Their defense has done a whale of a job, but uh, I'm sure uh, Coach Scoble looks to uh, have 
a drive and get his guy some rest on that sideline. Yeah, uh, let's face it, you don't want to be out on that field for as many snaps as they have. And continue to expect them to hold it. Gidry drops back, looks, puts the ball up in the air, and it's going to fall to the turf. Harmlessly good coverage right there. Uh, that would be uh, number 11 for the Panthers, uh, Brody Dukes. He was uh, in on that coverage. Nowhere to go. So it's going to be fourth and nine, and Slidell will be punting yet again. This will be Elijah Harris, Harrison, excuse me. Uh, senior DB slash punter puts a little charge into it. Nice Bridges. punt. Fair catch. And now they're at their 21 versus having been at Slidell's 41. A flip of the field here uh, has continued for the Slidell Tigers in and a, a hard, big fort, hard fort, hard uh, fort, <laughs> fought. There you go. I can't even say it. Easy for you to say. Yes. Uh, defensive struggle so far. 447 to go. First half. Two zip. Yes, you're hearing that right. Two to zero. Uh, North Shore with a safety earlier to be up two to nothing over Slidell. Um, we're all patiently waiting for a big play from somebody. Wabaker, is that Wabaker? Yes, he drops back and that ball flops out. Good pressure right there uh, by the Tigers. They had a guy coming off the edge there and I... Uh, looked like 21 Jordan Miller. Yeah, I think that uh, the offensive lineman pointed out to him, uh, towards him as to say, uh, either I got him or in that case he didn't have him. <laughs> Somebody needs to pick him up. Yeah. And uh, it didn't that happen. was not happening. It did not happen. So Wallbacker sets up again, sets up shop again. He's got Cherry to his left, takes a snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, runs up the middle, and nothing doing. Once again, 21 for Slidell. Jordan Miller in on the tackle. Had some assistance there as well. Slidell with a good job right there putting hats to the ball. Two-yard pick up on that run, third down. It was the quarterback uh, power once again uh, for the Panthers. This time, not as big a yardage as the last time. I have been impressed with both of these defenses this evening, Coach, because that's, look, that's some talent on the offensive side of the ball for both of these teams. Wild backer checks to the sideline, and it looks like we're going to have a timeout. North Shore, 349 to go in the second quarter, 2 to 0. North Shore Panthers on top. All right, going to play a third down and eight or nine. So we got Wildbacker. We have Cherry offset to his right. Cherry runs out into the flat. Wildbacker looks that way, but then goes back the other way. Nothing doing. Looking for T.J. Coleman, it looked like, but he was engaged in a block, so there was obviously a miscommunication there. Mis yeah, they were going with the wide receiver screen. I don't know if somebody was going to, because, you know, they do several things out of that, the screen where they block or they fake like they're blocking. One guy goes long in, during, in that sequence. Either which way, incomplete pass. <laughs> Punting down on fourth down. Punt away again, and once again, another good punt by Bell Airy. Went out of bounds <coughs> at the 47-yard line, and see, in our discussion of flipping the field, now, now Slidell has the ball in North Shore territory with 3.38 to go in the first half. And I tell you what, there's a good stiff breeze out there, probably five, six miles an hour. Um, and that doesn't sound like much until you're the punter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And whether you got to kick into it or 
it's behind you. Exactly. So setting up shop again is Luke Guidry. Turns around, hands off, breaks a tackle. Watts, eight, uh, he's, he's electric. Eight, tackled by eight, Jordan Fugate. Pick up of about four on the play, second down and six. That's how good the defenses are tonight, Coach. That play looked like it went for about 40 yards and it went for four. <laughs> Seemed like a gaping hole that <laughs> it, it wasn't did. there. It did. Yeah. And again, these are talented offenses on each side of the ball. Luke Guidry calls for the snap. Hands off again. Eight on the carry with a hole this time. Coach, he's got some space. And he's able to pick up a big gain for Travell Watts. They had a good block on the outside there with Watts got around and then cut it back. Very well done. Used his eyes, Coach. All that space on the inside. Good job by that young man. Gidry checks to the sideline. Watts set to his left. Gidry calls, hands off to Watts. Watts makes a nice little move inside. And is able to pick up some quality, some good yardage right there. It looked like uh, Hannah McCant and uh, number 40, uh, Sam Seda in on the tackle for the Panthers. That play was designed to go inside, and Watts followed, it, followed his eyes. Yep, yeah, spun out to the left side and got it out around the edge. Second down and five. Pick up a five on that one. Snap is back. Keep this time by Guidry. He goes left, and he's able to actually pick up a, a that's going to be close to a first year coach. Yeah, it's going to be third and third and one, I'm guessing. So Slido's offense. Good field position. Playbook opens up a little bit more. And you're starting to see uh, it pay dividends right here with this drive. Not only that, the offensive line's coming off the ball a little and firing a little off better. a little better. Yeah. Gidry. Watts behind him, hands off to Watts. Watts looks right, nowhere to go. So uh, that would be uh, number seven, and that's Mr. Fugate. In this case, it would be Jackson Fugate. And uh, look like number nine as well, Grant Simmons, in on that tackle. That was a loss or no gain. Going to bring up fourth and one. So a big play here. Big play. I'm not a big fan of getting the ball back five yards from, you know, you know what I'm saying? Get under center and you yes, close and just push. Thank you. Thank you. And that's why. That's Thank you. That's, uh, thank you. Nothing doing. North Shore's defense rises to the challenge. Your Honor, I rest my case. <laughs> so you do. So you do. Uh, by the way, J Jameer Bolden in on that tackle, number 52. Uh, and you say that as well. We've called their names a few times. Yes, yes, indeed. So North Shore's defense, big plays uh, well, and big moments. Really, everybody's defense. Yeah, both sides of the ball. Both sides of the ball. Both sides of the ball have been there's phenomenal. There's been a lack of, there's been offense in minuscule spurts. Like that was a spurt to get from, what was it, the 40 yard, 41 yard line down there to the 20. So they got about 20 yards. But didn't you got to finish the deal? You got to finish it off. So first down, ten for the Panthers from the 20-yard line. Wallbacker looks, he drops. Oh, is there a catch or did it hit the ground? Uh, incomplete. No, incomplete. He's he's making some motion like <laughs> I caught it, but you didn't catch it. You got to come up with it. Yeah, the motion was absent. The ball. Yes. <laughs> It wasn't a magic show. That's Bridges. I tell you, he's he's a big target, 6'1", 210, and uh, good hands as well. They went, they went up long on that one. See, second down. 
128 to go in the half. Clawbacker gets a draw, gets a snap, turns around, hands off. Nice little hole. Ball carrier is number three, Bryce Cherry. And that's Bryce Cherry on the carry. The number nine, Kendall Carter, Kendall Carter in on the tackle. And timeout Slidell, 119 to go in the second quarter. And it's still two to zero, North Shore over Slidell. Crowd into this play, third and five, North Shore. Snap is back, and that, that was awkward. I'm not sure what happened right there. Did somebody think a whistle seemed like everybody thought a whistle went off or something, and it's going to be fourth down. Uh, evident, was there a timeout there for Slidell? Uh, there is now. There is so now. 1-11 okay. to go in the second quarter. Uh, the score is still two to zero, North Shore of Slido. And <laughs> it's gonna be fourth down here. North Shore will be punting. So Bell Airy waiting for the snap. Puts a charge into the ball, and oh, this look one at the is wind. look at the wind. This one is not oh, gonna no. end up well for the Panthers. Uh, talking about flipping the field, Coach Slidell's going to end up with an excellent field position here. Right. And uh, Tiger's going to set up shop. Looks like at about the 32 or 33. Is that, that was right? about a five-yard punt. That's about what it was. So seven, seven yards, Coach. Okay. It was one of those that just got off the side of the foot and with this breeze, uh, and it, it's probably closer to a 10, 10 plus mile an hour breeze. So if you don't hit it just right, you get punished severely. And in this case right here. I'm betting it's 20, 25 right now, that win. As you think so? Oh yes. It's, it's yes, moving. Sir. And little, uh, a little play look, action pass right there. Look, look a RPO. To, looking to find Jahadi Williams, coach. Again, he's a playmaker, and he's only been targeted by my count three times tonight. So, not perhaps ne neither side having much success throwing the football. And the wind, as you just mentioned, probably has a lot to do with it. If it's as stout as you're saying, then it, it certainly is going to impact the playbook and what you can call. Say Gus to 20 to 25. So we have Gidry back, empty backfield. He, he unleashes, looking for his guy, and it's gonna be picked. Number one, T.J. Coleman with the interception. Wow, great play by Coleman. He was on it all the way. Gidry stepped up in the pocket and he slung that thing right there. Most definitely with the wind, but boy, uh, T.J. Coleman, we're used to seeing him on the offensive side of the ball hauling, hauling in passes. In that case right there, though, uh, flip, flip sides, went to the defensive side and still was able to pull it in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good. So okay. North Shore has an unsportsmanlike, a little too much celebration potentially. Right, 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 right. Nice interception, really, in the end zone. This is going to, since it was a touchback, I'm going to say it's half the distance, so it'll be the ball at the 10-yard line. And I tell you what, Coach Sanders, will he's going to be happy with the pick, but he will not be happy with the penalty, just simply because Slotel's defense has been playing so well. Uh, it, in that moment, you literally just gave up 10 free yards. Right, here we go. For a minute there, I didn't think they were going to mark it off, but here we go. Half the distance. <laughs> Coach, 10 yards is like two drives tonight, so. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the total offense. That's what I'm saying. Nice. You can't give up. Look, you can't give up a free 10 yards. Yep. Uh -oh. So, excellent play, though, by Coleman in the end zone to come up with the pick. All right. Here we go. So. 51 seconds to go in the half. Going to deal 
Bryce. Take a knee. Bryce Cherry really deep, making sure that the ball will not find the end zone in case there's an issue. And that's exactly it. Take a knee. Watch the time tick off slowly. And I tell you what, this if you're the two defensive coordinators tonight, you're quite happy with what you're seeing. Right. They're going to get helmet stickers <laughs> at the half. They may not have enough helmet left after all the stickers from, from that first half. So both, both teams have been impressive on that side so of the ball. They're going to take a knee, and that's going to end it. First half, North Shore up. Oh, I thought they took a knee again, the way these players are running off. No, 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 no. Don't go away. Don't go away. Hello. Hello, it's not too soon. Have they? North Shore uh, could snap the ball with oh, no. one second, but it looks like no. they're just going to let it roll out. Run. Yeah. So. Okay, that's why everybody's headed to the and, house. And at the end of the first half, the score is North Shore 2, Slidell 0. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to Nick Field. Tonight, we'd like to recognize one of Slidell High School's alumni, Matt Forte. He graduated from Sato High in 2005 while in high school he participated in football and track. As a junior, he rushed for 1,057 yards and eight touchdowns. He caught 30 passes for 365 yards and three receiving touchdowns. As a senior, he was named the St. Tammany Parish Player of the Year for, for District 55A Offensive MVP and received all Metro selection accolades as he gained 1,375 yards and 23 touchdowns and caught 18 passes for 253 touchdowns and two receiving touchdowns. He totaled 2,432 rushing yards and 31 in his career while also catching 48 passes for 618 receiving yards and five touchdowns. As a standout sprinter, Forte completed in, competed in track and had some of better 100 meter and 200 meter times in the New Orleans area in 2003. His personal best was 10.68 seconds in the 100 meters and 22.10 seconds in the 200 meters. After high school, Matt attended Tulane University. During his career, he received the following awards. Conference USA All-Freshman, two-time All-Conference USA, 13 AP All-American, Bill Walker Award semifinalist, Maxwell Award semifinalist, and Senior Bowl MVP. At his career, Tulane Matt became the second round pick. After his career, he became the second round pick for the Chicago Bears and was drafted 44th overall in the 2008 draft. He was going to become a five-time 1,000-yard rusher. In 2014, he rushed for 1,038 yards and caught 102 passes for 808 yards. He is only one of three NFL backs in history with 1,000 yards rushing and 100 catches in a season along with LaDainian Thomason and Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> After his time with the Chicago Bears, he would go on to play with the New York Jets for two years. His achievements in the NFL was two-time Pro Bowl, 2011 and 2013, 2008 NFL All-Rookie Team, bad franchise record, most rushed attempts in a rookie season, most receptions in a rookie season, most yardage from scrimmage in a rookie season, 1,715 and 146, most receptions in a postseason game. Games with at least three touchdowns in a season where he is tied with Dale Sayers, Walter Payton, and Neil Anderson. Matt is being inducted into the 2023 Louisiana Sports Writers Hall of Fame where he will be joined by other Louisiana legendary sports figures. Let's give a big round of applause for our Friday natives and our own Friday alum, Matt Forte.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Squad Ohio's very own Matt Forte. <laughs> Amaya Miller and Abby Rushes. And coaches, Allison Lafrere, Jen Johnson, Alyssa Kessler, and Kimberly Chatelain. Tonight, the Swing of Rex will perform a high kick routine to Bang Bang. Please welcome the Swing of Rex. Cohen Robotham on the kick. And that looks like Dupree on the return, and it's a good return. Right up the middle, still rolling near midfield. Big return for Slidell right out of the gate. And Coach of Tigers kind of needed that. Matter of fact, both teams kind of need to get good field position. Uh, we got the stats from halftime, oh, and, and, and it's let's not going to be pretty. Let's just say uh, it's it's uh, a defensive struggle. North Shore, 94 total yards, 80 rushing, 14 passing. Slidell, uh, a little worse, 51 total, 26 rushing, 25 passing. Gidry, one of eight for 25. Wildbacker, one of seven for 14. And yeah. that explains a 2-0 yeah. scoreline. And the defenses came to play. And about a 20 gusting to 30 <laughs> mile an hour wind. <laughs> that, that certainly impacts things. Yes. To Luke Gidry, hands off. It's Carter. He uh, bounces it outside. Actually able to shed a tackle and picks up some key yardage right there. But there is a flag on the play. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, Stand uh, yeah. corrected. It, it was a shoe. That, that, that flag was actually on someone's foot, Coach. <laughs> a pick up of 10 on first down. So I'm going to say they went in at halftime and said, we got to go wide. A good hard running by, by Carter right there as well. So, yeah, that wasn't a flag on the play. That was a shoe that came off. Gidry hands off to Carter again. Hit Ooh, in the backfield. No way. Uh, big number 40 right there. That that would be uh, Sam Useda. You you said it. It was Useda. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed. For a loss. TFL. Tackle for a loss of three on the play. Second down, 13. That's been kind of the storyline tonight. So we got Gidry again. And this time it is Watts to his left. 
Gidry checks to the sideline. Let's his O-line know what's, uh, what the play call is. And we have a penalty. You, you were right about the penalty. It was just a little <laughs> few seconds later. <laughs> and at least everyone has their shoe on at this point. So this is going to back Slidell up a little bit more to make the, the climb up the mountain a little more difficult because it has been tough sledding going against these two defenses tonight. We're on the, I think it's uh, second down and like 20 from the 51 yard line at this point. Because <laughs> there's only one 51 yard line and it's here at uh, <laughs> McGinty Stadium in Slidell. Ducree drops back, looks under pressure, gets away from the pressure, has some space, looks, tosses. Finds his receiver. This is number 24. Able to make the catch. Uh, that would be Henry Pence on the grab. Wow. Excellent a little, job. A little magic time right there for Gidry. What I will say is North Shore had him dead to rights, and he got out of there. How? I don't know. Did not pass the line of scrimmage. Found the receiver. Shot that pass, and... I don't know. Big first down. Big first down. And ha have they matched their yardage total from the first half? <laughs> Maybe so. And if not, they just passed it because uh, Travell Watts uh, on the carry. Good hard run and picks up eight right there, Coach. Here we go. A little momentum coming out of the uh, coming out at halftime from the locker room, and the uh, Coach Scoble had some good words of wisdom. Let's go back out there and. Put one in the end zone and take the lead. And I tell you, on that pass, <laughs> Gidry was certainly under pressure, but he kept his eyes downfield. He was he was able to find Pence, uh, and the only way he's able to do that is to somehow compartmentalize everything and keep his eyes where they're supposed to be. And off inside. Watts makes a move, cuts it up, looks. And Travell Watts with a big carry. First down for the Tigers. Let's talk a little bit about Watts. He's five foot six, 180 pounds. He's he's deceivingly fast. Coach, he's an athlete. We have a timeout on the field. It looks to be an official timeout. So with 9:35 to go in the third quarter, scores two to zero. North Shore Slidell moving the ball. And after that quick official's timeout, we are back. First down 10 for the Tigers. Gidry with Watts in the backfield with him. Lined best, up to his left. Best, of, best drive of the night for the Tigers. Pitches to Gidry, and he's got space. He's in. It's a touchdown, Tigers. Little option that time. He kind of semi-faked the toss. Then carried it up, and the defensive land end was caught in the no man's land. Pitch out there, and boom, touchdown by Watts. And I tell you, that was an excellent job by Gidry. He held the ball and made the defensive end commit to him. Once the defensive end committed to him, pitched, and we saw what Watts did. He did the rest, paid dirt for the Tigers. <coughs> Mr. Watts had come to the sideline and was celebrating with the <laughs> crowd when Coach Scoble went. Hey, hey. You're needed back out there. You got a job to do. Uh, you got a and job to do. And, and it's not over here. Because we're <laughs> going for two at this point. Fakes the handoff. He looks out wide. Almost picked. Incomplete. And with 9.08 to go here in the third quarter, it is now Slidell six, North Shore two. Yeah, that, that, that is the surprising score of the night for sure. But I tell you what, these defenses have stepped up. But Slidell finally able to put a drive together. And now it's North Shore's turn. Live ball. Mia Decca with the kickoff and the ball down the sideline. And wrestled out of bounds is Robotham. And it'll be first down 10 for North Shore. Now, big question. Uh, what's can the North Shore, yeah, what's the response? The response is can they respond to what 
what the Slidell Tigers did to start the second half was seize control of this game, the score lead, and see now what's going to happen. And I tell you, Coach Sanders, he's shown a propensity. He's willing to go for it tonight. Uh, looking to move up, if you will, in the playoff positioning. Drops back, Wildbacker does, looks, he's got Complete. his man. And yes, Bridges, James Bridges on the catch. Nice pitching catch right there. A little RPO, yes. little RPO, fake, faking the run and then getting Bridges on the, uh, on the post pattern. First down, 10. Wildbacker with Bryce Cherry offset to his left. And, you know, we talked about Jihadi Williams not being targeted as many times as thought. Uh, same thing can be said on the opposite side for Pullman. Good hard running right there by uh, Bryce Cherry. Picks up, uh, looks to be about five on the on the play. Maybe, maybe even more. A, maybe six. Seven. Six, six, six. Five, six, seven. What is the man? It's in there. It's <laughs> second and four. We got a good range. <laughs> Hey, at least you were closer than I was on the wind earlier. I can <laughs> promise you that was way off. Because it is breezy. Wildbacker. Bryce Cherry offset to his left. He calls for the snap. Drops back. Pressure immediately. He gets out. He's up the sideline. And he's, hey, I tell you what. He pays, out for, of bounds. pays for that uh, on the sideline. I don't see a flag. I think that that was a uh, fair play on the touchline. Yeah, it was. Great scramble. I don't know if he knew the guy was bearing down on him from behind, but a great skate. See, both these yeah, both yeah. these quarterbacks have come out of in the second half and stepped up their game. Very Gidry much with so. a good run, and now Wildbacker with a good run. Jerry deep. Fakes the handoff. Wildbacker looks, rolls out, and he's going to oh. be sacked. Guess who? Big number 20. Is that 62, Coach? No, it's 22. 22. 22. That was a blitz. That was. And Andre Ainsworth. That was a blitz, a backside blitz. I saw him sneak up to the line right before it, before it happened, and that was play action. They, were, they had the tight end dragging in the back in the flat, but that never came off. And that looked like a blind bootleg, uh, and it did not fool Ainsworth at all. Second down and 20. Second down and 20. Wildbacker drops back, looks, he hangs one up. And nothing doing, good coverage right there. Uh, it looked like uh, Elijah Harris, Harrison on the coverage. Uh, right there with him was Will Davis. Coleman, they were going up top for Coleman. Like you said, they're not afraid to throw the ball and throw it deep. Coach, I, I'm, I'm telling you, if Coleman gets the ball, he's tough to tackle. But Slidell, great job of denying that opportunity right there. And we got a penalty. Looks like we're going to have a false start on North Shore. So they have and made their. Uh, and, and let me tell you what, what was going on there. While they were doing what they were doing, Coach Scoble was going nuts because somebody was not lined up defensively where they needed to be. And uh, there's a blitz coming. I can tell Drop you. Here back, he comes. Backer. Yep. He gets rid of it. A good pitch and catch right there. And, of course, I mentioned it earlier, James Bridges, for his size, really, really soft hands can – just doesn't drop much. Well, I, uh, they had that same blitz that they had a minute ago. He, he got there just a second too late, and it's going to bring up – is that third and two? I, I thought it was third and 24 earlier. It must have been second and 24, so it's uh, – right. It is fourth down. It was third and two. Okay, it is so fourth down. Yeah, that's what I two. thought it was, too. <clears throat> so they're trying to decide what they're going to do. Big play in this game right here. Oh, yeah, right now. So Right now, can they answer? Can they pick up first down and get some points? They're going to talk about it. 
I think it's something worth talking about. And Coach Sanders has him coming over with 6.03 to go here in the third quarter. Slidell up 6-2 over North Shore. All right, and this place is rocking. If you see the camera shaking, it's because the stadium's cavitating. It's moving back and forth like nobody's business. It's like we're in a storm. Fourth and two. Wallbacker drops back. He's looking to throw. Puts it up, and it's caught. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Coleman. <laughs> wow. Cameron Ducree got a fingertip on it, tipped it up, and it ended <laughs> And it ended up going into Coleman's hands. I thought I saw Dwayne Mills coming over there for the <laughs> pick. He had it scoped out, and that just didn't happen. Wow. That was so, that was uh, almost bluegrass miracle reminiscent. Yes, very much. But there's no Jack Hunt on the field. No. <laughs> First and goal. Robotham, left side. That gets down to about the five-yard line. It's going to be second and goal from the five. Slidell's defense has done such an excellent job tonight. That was they had they had uh, they had it well defended. Yeah, they had him blanketed in some kind of way. And we mentioned this earlier. I mean, Coleman, he's got the he's got some ability for sure. Snap his back, goes to Cherry. He's looking up the middle. Wow. Oh, no, that's not the place to go. <laughs> Definitely not that's where. That's not the place that's not to go. Where, not where you parked your car. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Number 98. 98, Jalen Anderson. <laughs> Coach, yeah, he's the size of a car. That's not where you want to run. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't park in his lane. No. Don't, no. don't try to come that's down. A, his that's a reserve <laughs> spot. Don't. <laughs> try to come down. <laughs> Don't try to come down his alleyway. Big third down here. Ooh, Drop back. They look. See it. Wow. Somebody had a. They, had, they a, were in motion over here. Yeah. There's a. There's a hanky on the field. There was some confusion on that play. So yeah, it looked like there it's were two guys go. in motion. It was motion. Play. Yes, that was correct. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see uh, North Shore have a little more, more uh, room to work with. Uh, but that, that certainly might not be a good thing as well as the defense is playing. You don't want to give up free yards. Third down and goal from about the 11. So we, do we see a blitz here, Coach? Yes. <laughs> Oh, that's incomplete. And there's a flag on oh, the play. Oh, whoa, no. Ooh. Oh, no. There's going to be a little conversation, so we'll see what happens. Pass interference. Interferion. Interferon. Talking it through. And the white hat comes over. Pass interference. Against the defense. Wow. And it's going to be still third down. So Coach. it was not an automatic. It was, is it half the distance? It apparently is half the distance. Still third down. Or is it a first down? No, Why it's it? third down. Coach. Well, he said yes. The down marker said first. And Robotha. No, no, no. We and got that. Jeremiah. Number 91, <laughs> Jeremiah Charles said, no, 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 <laughs> not tonight. Not on my watch as he shut that down. Yeah, uh, he's he's not a small fella, Coach. No, I was going to say. He's 6'2", 275. That's, that's he might a, be bigger. I 375, think, I'm, I'm sorry. I think somebody said. Uh, that, that crooked letter eluded me at the front. Here we go, fourth down. Oh, no. And they try to fade pass there. Not really. And that. Not that, really good. Not a jump ball. Not a good throw. And it, nonetheless, defense. incomplete. Defense stepped up. So momentum coming out of the half. All slide out as they take the ball, march it down the field, score a touchdown, go up six to two. 
even hard for me to say those numbers. <laughs> and then North Shore makes a big move the other way down the other end of the field and has several shots in the end zone. Goose egg. Mm, nothing doing. Nothing doing. Technically, this is still a shutout for the Slidell defense. That it is. And, right? uh, you know, Coach Coach Coble, he's in D.C. So he's oh, got to yeah. be proud of his troops. As oh, he yeah, can. yeah, yeah. Uh, certainly right there with their back against the wall. So a huge play by Slidell. Gidry calls for it, turns around, hands the ball off. Straight ahead. Some good hard running inside. So Watts again on the carry. Picks up three. Picks up three second down seven. You know, again, great field position for North Shore, but they've got to figure out a way to finish. They can't Watts, finish. Watts set up to Gidry's right. Gidry checks with the sideline. Gendry surveys, calls for the snap, fakes the handoff, looks, nothing doing. Little RPO that time. Tried to get number 24, Henry Pence, on a quick slant. It went incomplete. And now we got third down. Big third down. It looks to be a third and seven. seven. In the shadow of their goal, uh -huh. as you said earlier. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Gidry's feet will be on about the three-yard line when he gets his snap. Gidry checks at the sideline. And we have a timeout. Slidell. 3.03 to go here in the third quarter. Slidell up 6-2 to two over the North Shore Panthers. All right, back after the timeout, third down, seven for the Tigers. Gidry in the backfield with Watts again. Watts offset to his right. Now switches over to his left. Gidry calls for the snap, steps back, looks, surveys, and he's got him. Nice catch right there by Pence on the sideline. Picks up a big little first down for the Tigers. A little comeback route right there by on the sideline, and Gidry put it right in Pence's numbers, and Pence. That's the third time that uh, Pence has been targeted, and he's hauled in two of them. So nice pitch and catch by combo by those two young men. Gidry calls for the snap, hands off. Watts, nice little hole to run through. Looks like he picked up maybe three right there. Just right side, a little dancing once he got through the hole, but that closed up pretty quick. Pick up a three, second down, seven. Gidry puts Watts to his left. Calls for the snap, fakes the handoff, puts the ball out wide, nice pitch and catch. Uh, and, and it looks like uh, number four, Colin Williams on the reception. First down for the Tigers. Chains keep moving, the drive keeps going, the clock keeps running. And if you're Coach Coble, you got to be happy with all of what I just mentioned. Well, I'll tell you what you know, I would all be happy about is the whole uh, coming out after the half so far, so good. Watts on the carry and a good hard running. Uh, nonetheless, it was good hard running, but then there was some extracurriculars afterwards. Uh oh, and, uh, someone uh -oh. is talking a little. Lots of hankies. Someone's talking a little bit too much down there. And that's not how you fix this. Yeah, they, they were upset that someone uh, was wanting six seconds on Thanksgiving dinner. No, no, no. You have to wait till everybody <laughs> eats first. You know that's that. That's right. That's right. Yes. You know, 
So, Uncle Gary has to come in. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Right? So I tell you, it's a crosstown rivalry. And like I said, some of these some of these kids, their backyards back up to each other. So it does mean a lot. But you you got to you to stay within, within yourself. Keep it under control. Indeed. Bragging rights for a year. You don't. You, they can get away from you <laughs> real fast if you're not paying attention. So there's a lot of discussion going on right here, so we'll see how this plays out. Oh, I'm thinking somebody, somebody may be asked to depart. Oh no, no or duly warned and noted. Your presence is requested on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there is there's some discussion going on as to uh, who's involved and uh, what what will be metered out. It's it, yes, <laughs> and and it always seems to be when the clock gets very close to the end of a quarter <laughs> of the game. That the officials have a way of slowing <laughs> everything down uh, and putting they, it in very get, uh, it seems, like it may seem that way. We're going to get this that, right, that, but but that's I just don't. It's just timing. It's just timing. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't choose and, for that. Oh no! I know! I know! Look! No! No! Pizza over there! We're having pizza <laughs> over there! No! No! no. Okay. It's Unsportsmanlike Slidell. Guess what? Unsportsmanlike Slidell. Oh, and an ejection. Wow, that was that's not a good thing. No, 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 um, no. no. I, here, and here is, I kind of thought maybe North Shore had, had gotten a little uh, spicy. The, the Tigers, trying to maintain control of this game, have committed a serious offense here. No doubt, and where this gets really, uh, you know, how can I say this? Uh, Ugly. Consequential. Consequential. Okay. Is you know the playoffs start next week, so. Oh yeah. Uh, if you've been an, thrown with an ejection, you might see a player that's not allowed to play next week, depending upon the severity a of fun, the circumstances. A funny thing during that time while we were talking, the defensive, uh, uh, offensive lineman and defensive lineman, uh, shook hands like. I'm cool with you, brother. That's it. That's yeah. it. Uh oh, balls on the oh, ground. Oh no! And North Shore oh, falls no. on it. It's going to be a touchdown oh, for the no. Panthers. Oh no! Wow! Huge and, defensive and score. Consequential to the max, right there. No doubt. That's. By the no way. Doubt. Wow. That's by huge. The, by the way, still a shutout for the Tigers' <laughs> defense. It is, and the other part about this, it's six to four. Yes, it is. I, I mean, who was? No, well, no, no. That's a that's a touchdown, is it not? No, was it? I, I, uh, uh, I thought uh, I thought the ball was recovered in the end zone. Oh, there's flags flying everywhere. I could be, and something's not going to be good. And uh, uh, that's yeah. really not good. Uh, no, no, that, no, no. That may be uh, a key player for the Slidell Tigers. I think you're right. It is a touchdown. I stand corrected. Yes. I thought it was a safety at first, but you're right. Wow. Wow. And and it's compounded by the fact that Slidell might be playing without a, a key player. Without their quarterback? It looks like it, Coach. Wow. Wow. I was going to say that there was a lot of. There's a lot going it on was right there. It was a minute 30 to go. Now it's a minute 24, and a lot has happened in six seconds. It is a touchdown. Yeah. Man. That will be for after the game, I guess. Who's that was a, wow. how can I say this? Um, a, there was a lot going on in those six seconds. I'm telling you, <laughs> it, it's, they, they say, yeah, six seconds. Wow. Out, another ejection. 
Another ejection. Wow. So I would say all the way, I don't know. I'd like to know the exact thing. But all the way up until about the one minute and 35 seconds, everything was going good for slide L. So with that being said, at 124 remaining, the score, score is now uh, nine, be. nine to six. And the kickoff after all the penalties, the touchdown and a loose ball. And it's down, caught, and it's down at the five yard line. I'd like to, play. I would like to recap the last <laughs> play, but I really don't know where to begin. Uh, I, we don't have spotters to tell us, but <laughs> we think that in the process of a little pitch, which I believe if, it's, if it was done correctly, would have been a considered a forward pass that, is that went incomplete. However, the referees ref, uh, ruled that it wasn't, and North Shore fell on the ball, and we're going to re-kick. Man, because I'm like out of words. I mean, out, out of that's, breath. And that's, that's a really big call or no call. I guess you would say no call in that situation, but right. Uh, it, it certainly um, may have a, a role to play by the end of the game. I will, I will say this, because it is a kickoff, and this is going to be in the end zone, he can't run it out. I would say this, ladies and gentlemen, y'all looking at home right now, just back up your, <laughs> back up your video, because we don't have replay. Back it up, see if that ball was tossed forward or up. That would indicate that it would be forward, I believe, unless it was pitched straight up, which I, I uh, there's a whole nother deal and yeah, I don't, don't think want to that get was into this. And the ball hits the ground, runs in the end, goes in the end zone, and North Shore falls on a touchdown versus an incomplete pass. Yes. And an ejection by uh, uh, Gidry. a couple Gidry and a and a bunch of penalties. So now we have a different quarterback. The handoff goes, it looks like Carter, number nine on the carry. Our quarterback is Xavion Barty. Is that right? Yeah. Xavion Barty, and number 17. Now I got to see Xavion uh, um, in the game against Covington. Oh, okay. So, so, so he uh, has and had. He, and yeah, look, he, yeah. Did, he did come in and he did show a command of the offense. He's just a little young, in particular compared to Gidry with his senior experience. Slido keeps it on the ground. They're not going to do anything too flashy, I don't think, here. They're going to let the What's quarter a, run out. And, um, and then we know one thing. They're going to reassess the circumstances. Well, and. and in the fourth quarter, they're going to rely on that defense that has been lights out. Lights out. Lights out. And it's still it's still a one possession game, coach. It's a, it's a nine six. It's a three oh, point game. Oh yeah, easy. They're going to have to they're going to have to run a play before the quarter ends. Now here's what I will say on that touchdown or um, incompletion, however you choose to say it. North Shore's defense was on the spot, so full marks to them. Yes. Okay, that'll end the third quarter where it got real wonky here at the end. <laughs> and the Slidell Tigers are down 9-6 to six to the North Shore Panthers. All right, fourth quarter about to get going, and I must correct myself. It's We're at LV McGinty Sr. Uh, stadium. <laughs> yes, we are. First off, saying Junior Stadium didn't sound as close it, together, didn't sound it right. It sounded like the visitor stands. It did. So, <laughs> however, we ha I have been corrected, and we'll go to the fourth quarter on fourth down for slide out. They get the snap. The kick is away. Big floater. It's going to hit the ground and roll, take a Tiger bounce. And North Shore will get the football on the 41, their own 41-yard line. As the fourth quarter has just gotten underway, and uh, 
we're pretty much speechless after the last <laughs> minute and 30 seconds. And that's saying something when it's the two of us. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? There was a lot of uh, uh, it, talk and machinations about exactly what took place. The reality is it doesn't matter what we think. The call is made, and it's time to play. North Shore on the ball. Wildbacker turns, hands off, up the middle, good, hard running. That was Robotham on the tote. Man, Robotham running hard right up in there. Pick up of about three, second down and seven. I think Rope Botham ran 10 yards to get three. That's just <laughs> how Coach, that played these, out. These defenses have played well tonight. And, and again, I know it's weird to say North Shore's got nine points, but Slidell's defense is still pitching a shutout. They're, they're and there's been no field goals. No, nothing. Yeah. They, they've been superb. Can they stop them? and get the ball back for their offense. On the flip side, Wildbacker under center, turns, fakes the handoff, looks, he's under pressure. Mm -hmm. Somehow, he he's able the to ball hand off. the ball off. Right. But it doesn't matter, Slidell with a lot of hats to the ball. There was a whole, <laughs> there was a whole group of Tigers in there. <laughs> a lair, what a, just a, wait a minute. I need. Uh, I should you, you, know this. It, I, I, look, Tyler. Tigers are typically solid, solitary, but uh, it, not in that case. <laughs> so, we're looking at third and twelve. Wildbacker checks to the sideline. He's got Robotham set to his left. North Shore takes her time. Clock's running out. And it, they're not going to get it off. There should be a flag at oh, this point. Oh, and then some. Yeah. Wow. And it's the case. The okay. Delay, delay a game. I, I, I had a discussion with my friend Google. Oh, really? And he told me, you know, Frank Google, he told me um, that a group of Tigers is a streak. A streak. A streak of Tigers. So All right. There was a streak of them in on that last play. This Third down and long. Wildbacker. Ball's high, high and it's on the ground. Wow. And it looks, it looks as though North Shore was able to cover it. Wow. And it looks as though Wildbacker was the one to cover it. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Certainly to his detriment because the big Jeremiah Charles was the the person that landed on him, all 375 pounds. Well, that'll make your ribs sound look like an accordion. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Brings up fourth down. 9.45 to go in this one. Slidell's defense stepped up. Sir, the crowd is really into it at this point. Going robot them. Uh, let the, they want moving. that time to run down. Milking the clock. Milk it. And the he punt is it. away. And uh, looks like Slidell's going to have some solid field position coming out of this. They're going to start out at their oh, own 37 yard line. 37 yard. Pretty good punt right there. A little bit of, got a little bit of the wind with it. And, uh, but. Man, man, oh man. Well, in the previous games that I've called this year for Slidell, I've mentioned repeatedly uh, the senior um, leadership on, on the team. So the question is, is how do you rise up in this moment against your crosstown rival? You gotta you, have that senior leadership. You gotta and, have and, something and look, happen. Slidell has seniors uh, seemingly everywhere on the roster. Kendall Carter is in at quarterback. Uh, again, we talked about him being an Ironman as well. I told you earlier, Coach, he runs hard on the offensive side of the ball. And that's what we're going to get a dose of. And there it is. Ooh, and there's the run, and Coach. And he's going. He got momentum and just 
pile drive through there. Again, when they put back those um, those Wildcat people and put them <laughs> in there, they're all they're going to run power one way or the other. Roll that's them. just what they did. He just he. Iron Man football on that side as well as he makes the tackle such as it was because let me tell you, Carter was on the move. Here he is again. He looks. He breaks outside. Great tackle. Sure, sure tackle by number that four. That would be Kyle Williams. Kyle Williams. Shoestring tackle. And, and look, when you get Carter with a head of steam coming at you, he's tough to bring down. But he was trying to get the edge, and Williams was able to – to make that shoestring tackle. As a, as, as a good kind of, job by that young man. It kind of felt like that every time a team makes a big play, then that somebody throws them for a loss. Or some, uh, the defense one, keeps one the rising forward, up. One step two back. And Carter, yeah, looks, Carter. got a hole. He's, he's got a hole. He's still he got looking. Something he's got else. something moving. He's on the feet. <clears throat> uh oh, man. And once I, again, a big play by Carter. One Iron Man tackles another, but not until Carter has a huge game. I'm telling you, when he ran the ball off there to the left, it looked like he was just kind of jogging. But what he was doing was he waiting was for blocks. the let the block set up. Where am I going to run? Then he got a little momentum going, and he's not easy to bring down. No, I, I, like I said, I've seen him a, a number of times, and every time he's in, he runs hard. Out again, still on his feet, and a flag. It's going to be a horse collar. Uh. So Slidell's going to pick up some free yardage right there. And it looks like we have an injury on the play, so we'll step away for this break in the action. 7.44 Seven. to go, Coach. 9-6, to six, North Shore. All right, Coach, back to the action. Fourth quarter, 9-6. to six. The Tigers are threatening. New quarterback. Adam Fancien. Fanchin. Adam Fish. Fashion. 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 See, Coach, I'm glad you're here. Oh, and we got a timeout again because because we do. 7.44 to go in the fourth. It is North Shore 9, Slidell 6, Slidell driving. Snap. Snap on the play. 26. Nothing Going doing. Left. Number four. That was Austin Bates. Kyle Williams on the tackle. We have an injury on the play, so we'll step away from the action. 7.31 to go, 9-6, to six, North Shore. And we are back. Second and goal for the Tigers. Carter in the backfield, takes it, looks, stops, nowhere to go. And a big <laughs> loss right there. And... Um, 52, Coach. Uh, that would be uh, Jameer Bolden. We've Bolden. said his name before. Yes, Bolden. Yeah, he, he's actually the one that blew that play up. All right. Third down and goal from about the 19. And this is about the time that you wish you had Gidry back out there. Well, he's not out there, so but Xavier going to have to figure is. it Xavier. So experimenting a little bit with the Wildcat and how that went, had some success. Now we're down a third and long and another timeout. <laughs> so 6.34 it's to go, Coach. 9-6, <laughs> North Shore. All right, Coach, back to the action. That's kind of been stuck in Step back, looking, under a rush. Going to get dumped. Big sack. Number 34. Juan Jacques. 
Uh, yeah, he's uh, on the Johnny on the spot or Jacques on the spot. Jacques on the spot. He, he's one of the seniors for the North Shore Panthers. Comes up with a big play right there. Wow. And clock is ticking. They have this is not a timeout that I know of. No, it's not. Clock is definitely running. And they're talking about what they're going to do. And. Uh, well, they've got the distance to actually uh, maybe it would work. they got 10 seconds to go to run a play. And, and, and I ah. think they're going to take the penalty, give their punter a little bit more room, and try to pin uh, uh, North Shore uh, uh, inside the 10. That's just my guess. And okay. there is the zero on the clock. Delay of the game. Wow. Slidell will move five yards further back. It, it seems as weird as this game has been going delay of the game hadn't shown up till now <laughs> it seems like the uh, Halloween monster mash we're waiting for every all the characters to show up so um, I'm not even oh this is a punt formation maybe snap is, is there back. kick big floater punt. big floater Get out of the way, everybody. That was knocked back. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be there. I thought it's it going to be at about the 15, 15, I would guess. Yes, and that's it was where it was touched. And uh, the North Shore defense would seem like it was going to break, didn't. It was a bend and break situation. It, it, it did bend, but it did not break. So North Shore is going to take the field with 525 left to go. Uh, they're going to look to string together as, you know, two, three first downs, um, milk the clock, and, and <laughs> leave Crosstown with a, with a victory. Of course, if they could score, that would be even better for the Panthers. But the reality is, is when you're in the lead, you don't have to score anymore. But you can't let the other team score either. No doubt, no doubt. Wow. Still have to pitch the shutout on the defensive side. Good hard running by Cherry. Got about five on that one. Nice run on first down off the right side. So the main thing is, as you mentioned, the clock is ticking. So many years ago, Covington High School came to Slidell. Slidell had negative yardage for the game. Covington oh. had over 300 yards rushing, and Slidell won six, six to, to nothing. nothing. When, Miracle when, on Slidell it, dry, yeah. on Tiger Drive. That yes. So the question is, is will it be reversed tonight? Because Slidell's defense is not giving up a point. Yet North Shore is in the lead. Another run. Cherry up the right hand side picks up a couple. It's going to lead to a third and three. If I'm correct about that game. I think late in the game, Covington decided to throw a pass in the flat. In the flat, pick and, six. And it was a pick six. Pick six. Was so, that Reggie Cooper? Could it have been? I don't I believe. Don't I don't know. I don't believe. I, I think uh, Reggie Cooper We'll have to was, get our uh, resident that's expert, it. That's Mike, it. Mike Gambrell, in on that. <laughs> Meanwhile, the clock is just ticking away, ticking away. Taken away on third down. They're going to take a penalty? Timeout here, I would imagine. Uh, and timeout, North Shore. So with 3.51 three to go in the game, it is North Shore 9, slide L6. All right. We are back, and it is a huge down, third and three for the Panthers. The stadium is rocking. The wallbacker drops back, looks deep. He's got a man, and guess what? He's going to go, Coach, all the way, and it's going to be the first point for the Panther offense tonight. So no hankies on the field. If not, it counts for six. Wow. Coach Sanders rolled the dice right there, baby. Huge on third play. and three, he went play action pass, and uh, they tried it a couple of times, but Bridges got behind one step behind the defender, and he was a gone Pecan. And coaches, I told you, he's got great hands. If you put it up there, he's he's coming down with it more times than not. And I'll say this, Wildbacker put it 
right where it was supposed to be. Beautiful pass, great pitch and catch by the Panthers. That is Bell Airy on for the extra point. So the f score at this point, three minutes and 40 seconds to go. North Shore, 16, Slidell 6. And North Shore coming back on the field after a huge play. The kick is deep, and it's going, in a, going to the end zone for a touchback. Well, Coach Slidell is going to have to look to score quickly because there's only three minutes and 40 seconds left, and they've got to do it more than once. There's no, there's no 10 point plays. So, you know, it's, it's going to take a second miracle on Tiger Drive if they're going to come out with the victory tonight. This would be a big win for the North Shore Panthers because, hey, look. You're not just beating your crosstown rival, if that's the case. You're, you're, you're coming over and getting a win against the district champs. Yes, absolutely. So, so Coach, Scoble, Coach Scoble and his uh, crew, they'll definitely be able to hang their hat on that, but that that's not what they want to hear. Nope, this is not going to taste good if it stays Watch. like this. Great run. However... <laughs> However, don't Stays count them out on yet. His feet all the way up to the 41. Don't count them out yet. The chains Travel will move. Watts. The chains will move and the clock will stop. 3:32. Clock rolling. Xavier and Barty. They're gonna need about four or five more of those. Hands off again. Up the middle one more time, not much there. Picks up ah, close uh, to five. A host of Panthers on that tackle, including Jordan Fugate. We'll say, very nicely said. Uh, so pick up a four, second down six. No time to waste, run a play. Marti hands off again. Nowhere, Nowhere to, to go. go. Nowhere to go. Number eight. <laughs> Number Guess who? Uh, uh, that would be Jordan Fugate. Would that be Jordan Fugate? That's who it is. Yeah. Easy for me to say. <laughs> we have an, an injury on the play. We'll step away with 2.45 to go. North Shore 16, slide L6. All right, third down. That was a injured player to get off to the side. Third down and six. 2.30 and counting for the Tigers. Handoff goes to 15. He's looking to catch the edge. He does. He's got some space. He's still on his feet. Picks up the first down all the way down to the Panthers' 34-yard line. Good hard running by Corey Kuzan. Great job right there of a little uh, jet sweep action. Hand him the ball, and he... He got a first down. Two minutes and five seconds and counting. Tigers looking to score quickly. Ball cut up the middle. Nice tackle right there by the Panthers. Same play 99, the other way. 99 and 34 in on the tackle. Juan Jacques, we've mentioned him a few times tonight. 99, Wyatt Sistrunk also in on the tackle. Loss on the play of two, second down and 12. 140 to go and counting. People are yelling to get the play in. It's taking too long with the time running down. And it's taking even longer. The snap is finally there. Ball is out. And Kuzan's able to pick up a couple of yards and get out of bounds. A little, um, taking a little too long on the play, Carlin, but that may be a result of having a, a new quarterback. Yes, and, and a youth uh, a youth experiment there because he is on the young side. Xavier uh, Barty, uh, even though he's a junior, uh, he's, he 
He's not, he's not the guy who's been uh, calling the signals for the, for the most part. Now the good news if you're Coach Scobo and Slidell is you get to see him next year. The bad news is there's only 111 left. And it, the ball is incomplete, batted down at the line, and it's going to set up a fourth and 12. Coach, this is make or break time for the Tigers. Absolutely. It's almost as if we went into a time warp from about <laughs> 1.30 to go in the third quarter to you now. Mean, you mean three hours ago? Yeah. <laughs> Seemed like it, it was like everything was just going along and then, uh-oh. Fourth and 12 for the Tigers. Hardy takes the snap, drops back, looks up. He's got away from the pressure. He's going to take off, and he's not going to get there. And North Shore will take over on downs. And I would assume, Coach, victory, victory formation is going to be the play of the day for the Panthers. Absolutely. Wow. Um. I always say you never know in crosstown rivalries. You and, don't. And uh, I had absolutely hadn't counted North Shore out. Uh, I will say valiant effort by the um, Slidell defense. Um, and good hard running by Carter. Yeah. Once again, he was impressive. But uh, I think everything worked out tonight for the North Shore Panthers in uh, – in their favor. They caught the brakes and they made the big play, Coach. Right. You cannot discount that pass, uh, you know, from Wallbacker to uh, big number 88, James Bridges, because that, that was the backbreaker. All right, the good news is that Gidry will be able to play next week. And uh, even Slotel will be hosting. And even though he was ejected. The clock ticks down, 28 seconds to go in this one. A big, big time victory for the North Shore Panthers over Slidell here. And Slidell, we're going to send our thank yous out to the people that brought you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Frank Javia, our director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard. Up, up above us, the cameraman extraordinaire, editor, Channel 13's everybody, David Williams alongside me is Coach Jimmy Enman, longtime friend and compadre. This is Charles Tiger Edwards. Good night, God bless, and you be good. You're leaving the prep zone. <laughs>